Hello, happy weekend everyone. Today's short message is titled Windows, written by Mike Whitmer. Near the foothills of the Himalayas, a visitor noticed a row of houses without windows. His guide explained that some of the villagers feared that demons might sneak into their homes while they slept. So they built impermeable walls. You could tell when the homeowner began to follow Jesus, because he put in windows to let in the light. A similar dynamic may take place in us. Though we might not see it quite that way, we live in a scary, polarizing times. Satan and his demons instigate angry divisions that split families and friends. I often feel like hiding behind my walls. But Jesus wants me to cut in a window. Israel sought refuge in higher walls, but God said their security lay with him. He reigns from heaven, and his word governs all. In Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 to 11. If Israel would return to him, God would have mercy on them and restore them as his people to bless the world. Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3. He would lift them up, ultimately leading them in a triumphal parade. Their celebration will be for the Lord's renown for an everlasting sign that will endure forever. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 13. Sometimes walls are necessary. Walls with windows are best. They show the world that we trust God for the future. Our fears are real. Our God is greater. Windows open us to Jesus, the light of the world. John chapter 8 verse 12 and to others who need him. Today's scripture reading is found in Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 to 13. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it, without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the juniper, and instead of briars, the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign that will endure forever. <laughs> 